What's going on everybody? I'm back with another High Limit Coin Buster video for you all today. And in today's video we're going to be doing a half a million dollar buy-in and they gave us 100 quarters to get started today. A pretty expensive game so wish me good luck. Hopefully we can walk out of here with a humongous win. I got it loaded up decently well today. There's like a ginormous golden tower right there in the center. It's got two golden dice on it. If we get them gold dice, we'll get to roll them at the very end of the game. And uh, whatever they land on, the gold bars will multiply by those numbers. Let's see, they got two massive towers on the pressure back there, along with the dark blue mystery bag. And let's see, the two towers on the pressure are made out of one, five, and ten thousand dollar chips. They also got some one, five, and ten thousand dollar chip towers on the corners, also. Let's see, they only got uh, two towers on the blue shelves today. There's like gold and $10,000 chips, two stacks of $100 bills. And there's uh, two of the white dots on those. Y'all might be able to see them. Not really sure, but uh, anyway. Hopefully we can knock down this tower right here in the center. Well, that right there was the last of our quarters. So let's go round up the quarters real quick and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's get right back to pushing. Oh my goodness, nice, there it goes. We got the humongous tower on the right that was back there on the pressure. They completely demolished that golden tower that was right there in the center. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, that was a wonderful push right there also. I think we got a gold dice and a bunch of chips. It's doing really, really well. Let's get the loot chute cleared out. Yeah, it's not good to let that loot chute get too full because a lot of times uh, money will fall back inside the machine. But for the ones who don't know, there's this little opening area right up above the uh, loot chute. And if the loot chute boils over too much, there's a chance we can lose some of it. Oh yeah, nice. There we go. We got the other tower that was back there on the pusher. That's what I'm talking about. And we got that uh, mister bag not too long ago. Now right, let's get the loot chute emptied out. Yeah, and we're doing pretty good on quarters now. We should have enough to get it all out of there today. I don't think there's going to be any uh, special chips in there today. I mean, there might be that $5 chip in there, but I don't think the $10 chip or the $50 chip is going to be in there today. I mean, who knows? I might be wrong, but... Uh, Usually the $10 chip and $50 chip are only in there on uh, games where the buy-in is uh, $1 million and above. Most of the time you have to do like a $5 million buy-in to get a lot of those special chips. Yeah, that $5 chip, if that's in there, they'll take the stuff that is on the blue shelves, they'll put it into the playing field. The $10 chip, that would be worth one or more free bonus towers. Uh, I would get to cash it in, they'd let me spin a wheel, and uh, whatever that wheel lands on, it's what type of brand new tower they'd build in there somewhere, so, yeah, really, really hoping some of those special chips are in there, at least that uh, $5 chip, because if the $5 chip ain't in there, then we'd have to pay double the original buy-in to get the stuff that's on the blue shelves, which it should be worth it. Even if we do have to pay extra because there is two of the white dice in there. And if we win those, we get to roll them and whatever they land on, my uh, winnings will multiply by those numbers. So, Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to get these towers on the corners. Don't even know if we have enough quarters to stack the quarters up or anything. So... Anyway, uh, let's go see what we've won, and we'll check out that blue mister bag. How does that sound? Alrighty, I'm back. So here's that mister bag. Let's go ahead and open it up. See if there's anything nice and valuable in there. Oh my goodness, wow. Check this out. We got the $5 chip, and we also got two of the $1 chips. So each one of these is worth 500 free quarters, so that is 1,000 free quarters right here. I'll take it. And this $5 chip, like I said, we get to turn that in. They'll take the two towers that are on the blue shelves. They'll put them into the playing field. So I think we'd be better off going ahead and cashing in all three of these chips because uh, we only got like 1,060 quarters now. And that definitely isn't enough quarters to stack them up and try to get the towers on the sides. And plus, 
whenever we turn in this $5 chip, they could possibly rearrange all four of those towers. So let's go ahead and turn in these chips, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in that $5 chip and both of those $1 chips. They took all the stuff that was on the blue shelves. They put it all into the playing field. And they even rearranged all four of those towers that was in there. They put them like more towards the center, which that's perfectly okay with me. They're going to be a lot easier to win now, I think. And uh, they gave me an extra 1,000 quarters for those two uh, $1 chips. So that put us up to pretty close to about 2,100 quarters. Things like 2,070 of them, 2,060, something around that. So anyway, I uh, wish me good luck. Hopefully we can get it all cleared out of there. Yeah, you all know me. I would have spent a long time trying to get them towers on the corners, but uh, we just didn't have enough quarters. For some reason, it wasn't loaded up as good as it normally is today. But uh, anyway, looks like we got the tower on the pressure to go already. We're about to get a dice. Nice. There we go. We got one of them. The other one is back there on the pressure right there in the center. So it's in a pretty safe spot, I guess. But regardless, uh, let's push on the left. That way it pushes that dice more towards the center. Oh yeah, you see what I'm saying? And the uh, two stacks of $100 bills, those landed behind the towers on the right. So hopefully we can get all this stuff to go. Oh yeah, getting some gold bars, that's pretty good. Yeah, the gold bars are pretty valuable at the moment. I think they're around like uh, 2000 and some dollars an ounce, maybe like 2030 an ounce. Might be more than that. So if somebody could let me know the uh, spot props of a one ounce gold bar down in the comments section. I would highly appreciate that. Just uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what it's worth at the moment. Oh, and also something else I have won today, and I just uh, forgot to point it out. We got two of those uh, $100 buy-in chips. So those $100 buy-in chips don't have any cash value whatsoever. However, each one of them is uh, one enter into the free $100,000 buy-in giveaway. So yeah, those are pretty valuable. Well, if you can win that giveaway, they're valuable, but uh, if you can't win the giveaway, they're technically worth nothing, so. But I mean, it's still nice that they put those in there because it is a chance of winning. So pretty much, if you don't know what I mean by free $100,000 buying giveaway, they'd give you like 10 or 15 free quarters on a game that was uh, supposed to be a $100,000 buy-in. And then if you didn't get it to go with those 15 free quarters, and you're welcome to do another buy-in if you want to, so that's how that works, in case you're always wondering. And the Bitcoins, those mean the exact same thing as those uh, $100 buy-in chips, so. Yeah, the Bitcoins are pretty nice also. Rarely see those in there, though. So anyway, we just about got it all cleared out, except for those $100 bills and another tower standing on that right side. Oh yeah, we might get that tower though, any moment now. Nice, there we go. We got one of the $100 buy-in chips and we got that last little bit of money that was on the left. So anyway, I uh, hope y'all are doing well and having a remarkable day so far today. Uh, remember if this is your first time watching my channel, and you're enjoying this amazing video right here. If you want to see more videos like this one, uh, please do consider hitting that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon. That way you get notified whenever I upload brand new videos. Pretty much post videos seven days a week, so don't miss out. Hit that subscribe button and enable that bell icon. That way you get notified for whenever I upload brand new videos. And uh, if this video can get to at least 2,000 likes uh, tomorrow, I might do like a one quarter challenge with uh, some sort of buy in. Like maybe a one quarter challenge, one million dollar buy in, one quarter challenge, five million. Just uh, let me know what you'd want to see down in the comments, and I'll try my best to make it happen. 
We well, yeah, I don't know about this tower over here on the right side. It's being super, super stubborn. I think it might be like stuck. Stuck against the glass, or it might be stuck on the $100 bills. I'm not sure. Anyway, yeah, I think we should go ahead and call them back here to see if they can, like, do something about that, because it's all piled up against the glass. So let's call them back here, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I called them back here, and they just rearranged all that money that was stuck over there on the right. They put, like, all of it back there on the pusher, so... Hopefully we can get this to go a lot easier now. We should be able to, I think. Yeah, that, they'll do that if something gets stuck against the glass. Oh yeah, it's leaning forward. We're going to get it. Nice, there we go. That tower fell straight down into the payout chute. And uh, those $100 bills should be a lot easier to win now that they're right there in the center. Usually if stuff is right there in the center, it falls down a lot easier than it would if it was on the corners. It's because of those side slots on the left and the right hand side. If there's any weight on the corners, the quarters just take the path of least resistance and that would be down those uh, gutters. And all the money that falls down through there, that would go to the owner. And that's where the uh, $50 chip would come in handy. Uh, we get to turn that in if we win it. Uh, they'd take everything that we've lost to them uh, gutters, they'd put it back into the play field force to have a, a second chance of winning it so nice there we go we got it all cleared out of there that is absolutely remarkable this has been an excellent game today absolutely excellent so uh now i'm going to call them back here i think we have won four dice in total we got two of the white dice and two of the gold dice they'll put all four of them dice back there on the moving platform and we have to roll them on down to that lower play field. Whatever they all land on, we get to multiply our winnings in our goal by those numbers. So let's call them back here and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, we're back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I called them back here. They put all four of them dice back there on the pusher. So let's roll them on down to that lower play field. Hopefully they all end on some excellent numbers today. Uh, keep in mind, if any of the dice lands on a one, it would be a zero. The ones do not count at all. Oh, nice. We got a 5 and a 2 on the gold dice. We got a 5 and a 4 on the white dice. So that's super, super good right there. The majority of those dice landed on some pretty good numbers. Or all the dice, that's what I meant to say. So anyhow, I'm going to count everything up, multiply our winning center gold ball, that right there. And I'll let y'all know how much money we've made today from a $500,000 buy-in. Be right back. You all are not going to believe how much money I've won today. This is absolutely phenomenal. I ended up winning $1,974,000. That is the chips and the cash combined. And all the white dice totaled up to 9, so I got to multiply my winnings by 9. And in total, I ended up winning $17,766,000 from a half a million dollar buy-in. That is absolutely exceptional. That is a ginormous, humongous, life-changing jackpot win today. Absolutely mind-blowing. I was not expecting to make anywhere near that amount of money today. That is incredible. And on top of that win, we also won 47 ounces of gold. And both of the gold dice totaled up to 7, so I got to multiply the gold by 7. And in total, I ended up winning uh, 329 ounces of gold today. And the spot price of gold is like $2,040 an ounce. So that means we got $671,160 in gold. So that is amazing right there. And we also won, I believe it was... Uh, 1,997 quarters so let's divide that by four to get the dollar amount that means we got uh, 499 dollars 25 cents in quarters so that's pretty good right there and last but not least we ended up winning six of the hundred dollar buy-in chips so that is six entries into the free hundred thousand dollar buy-in giveaway so anyhow, that is not bad, not bad at all for a half a million dollar buy-in. So if y'all enjoyed today's video, uh, please consider hitting that like button and subscribe and turn on the bell icon. That way you get notified for whenever I post a brand new video. And also, if you want to check out a whole entire playlist of my videos, that will appear at the bottom right of the screen. And if you want to check out uh, my previous video, that will appear at the bottom left of the screen. And if you want to check out one of Coin Pressure's videos, that will appear at the top left of the screen. 
and if you want to subscribe to my channel uh, you can click that button at the top right of the screen there so with all that being said i will see you all on the next episode y'all take care and have an awesome day